Well, good afternoon, Susan. Thank you for making the time to come over to the Environmental and Natural Resources Building. I understand you've never been here to no, this building. This is a beautiful place. It, yeah, thanks for really having us. It really is one of my absolute favorite buildings in the university. Congratulations. I haven't seen you in person right. uh, since your uh, promotion. Thank you. Uh, to be CEO of Tucson Electric and Power. And I, I just really appreciate your time for being here today to, to do this with, with Trevor uh, and me. We, of course, are really excited about the large scale renewable energy agreement, especially because we get to partner with TEP uh, on, on this incredible priority. Well, we're excited too, and we're really proud to partner with the university. I think both of us share a commitment to really promoting sustainability and clean energy. So we're, we're happy to partner with you. Um, these two projects are significantly increasing our capabilities with renewable energy resources. So the first is the Oso Grande Wind Project in New Mexico. And they're massive wind turbines, um, 62 of them in total that provide 250 megawatts of energy power. And, and wh where is that in New Mexico? It's near Roswell. It's on 24,000 acres. That's amazing. It's a massive project and it's one of our large, it is our largest renewable energy resource. And then the Wilmot Energy Center is just south of town here. And it includes 100 megawatts of solar PV and 30 megawatts of battery energy storage. And that's our largest local uh, renewable energy resource. So together, the power provided by these wind and solar systems is enough to energize 135,000 homes. That's amazing. Um, and of course, we're providing enough clean energy to keep the lights on day and night right here on campus. So I'll just mention too that the production profiles of wind and solar, because they operate at different times of day, really provide the perfect match for the usage at the university. Yeah, that's fantastic. So Trevor, You've been working on this for a long time and really have been the driving force behind uh, aggregating and leading our students, faculty, and staff to support this type of project. So what Susan just described is incredibly uh, big idea, big thinking. How, how did you come up with, uh, with this and how did you go through marshalling all the forces required to pull it off? First and foremost, I'll say it was not just me. It was and it was the entire team here at the University of Arizona and all of the fantastic support that we've had from yourself, from senior leadership like Lisa Rolney and uh, provost folks and so many others in planning, designing, instruction and facilities management. Um, there's no way we could have done this without everyone on board and everyone thinking towards not only for how do we make the University of Arizona a more sustainable place operationally, but also how do we ensure that our students and our employees are also a part of that process and learning how do we make the University of Arizona a more sustainable place from a cultural perspective as well as an operational perspective. And so a lot of the work that we do through the Office of Sustainability is not only focused on things, operational things like large scale renewable energy, but also on you know, how do we integrate more sustainable thinking and policies and practices across the university as, as well as within the Tucson community and working with the partners that we have uh, throughout the community and throughout um, uh, the greater Southern Arizona region. Susan, this is, this is a huge undertaking for TEP. How did that all work internally for you? Yeah, so this is really part of our long-term plan because we do want to move to more renewables. And so we're calling it our cleaner, greener grid plan. And it's an opportunity for us to, to partner with you, but to also reach some of our own goals. And, you know, we, we want to, we care about our customers. We care about Tucson. And so we feel like it's the right thing to do to move towards renewable energy. And um, so our plan by 2035 is that we will be able to provide 70% of all of the power that we provide will come from wind and solar. Wow. And that's an 80% reduction in our carbon emissions. And that will require the use of battery storage. So we're gonna move from what we have right now, which is about 100 megawatts, to one and a half gigawatts of battery power. And actually we worked closely with the university to develop our carbon emissions reduction goal. And so it's part of a, a bigger plan for us, um, but a great opportunity to partner with the university. So great, great synergy and great partnership. 
It's the largest university utility bilateral agreement in North America, and that, wow. I think says something about what we've been able to do here, but also, you know, what this means for the partnership between the university and TEP. Oh, that's fantastic.